hey babes and welcome back so let me show you guys my updated makeup routine a more soft glam very neutral very subtle not too heavy giving very soft girl era if you would love to see how i end up getting this look then definitely keep on watching So hey you guys, uh, the first thing that I'll be doing is priming my face. So I have two type of primer. This is like a freezy primer from NYX and it's literally what the name says. It's a freezy primer. When you put it on your face, it feels very, very cold, like literally icy cold. Um, but I love the way it works with my Refi. I think it's Refi's um, primer as well. That primer is literally a game changer okay i don't know what they put in that primer but for sure don't run <laughs> or don't walk i should say run literally that primer does wonders then i'm gonna go in with my nyx eyebrow glue and honestly another game changer usually i used to do my eyebrows without doing any type of like eyebrow gluing down um i used to see a lot of people use edge, edge control um even got to be glue i was never that type of girl i usually just um brush my brows in place and then outline them but the moment i started doing this i literally saw a difference in my eyebrow game and i love it also something different that i do instead of using the anastasia eyebrow dip proper made that thing i now use eyeshadow trust me trust me don't knock it until you try it using eyeshadows for my eyebrows pff, another game changer i don't know it's just something i feel like i have more control over it and if it's that messed up it's easily to like wipe off because it's a shadow um and i can play around with it a little bit more that's for me though uh i know a lot of people still prefer to use like eyebrow pencil or the anastasia deep bro thingy but for me eye eyeshadows does the job <laughs> line my bros i don't remember if i had this in any of my last videos but i'm still using the Too faced burn this way i cannot get over these concealers i love them it will never change for me it's just no i have to use it so i'm using the Too faced burn this way concealer in natural beige and then i'm going to go in with the tarte radiant concealer and i'm i think this one is fun i think it's fun if i'm not mistaken um but yeah i'll be using this concealer i'm using both concealer actually i'll be using the barnes way to face on the outer parts because that's where you want it to be more highlighted and then as i go inwards and also on the top of my brow is where i use the tart because that concealer is closer to my actual foundation and my actual skin shade and i don't want that halo effect on my on the top of my eyebrows so sometimes i'll stick with the born this way with underneath my entire brows sometimes i put the tart in the middle area like closer to my nose and then i definitely use a tart on the top part because again i do not like that halo effect
wishing I was with me living life so Also, I normally don't mention brushes, but this Real Technique concealer brush is heaven sent. <laughs> okay, I have two of them now, and I'm telling you, these brushes, I cannot get over them. I had to get two. So I use one for like my cream contour based um, product, and then I always go back in with the other one for like a powder. Um, concealer and not cream contour but like cream concealer based and then the powder like the setting powder I go back in with that to set my eyes and like wherever I had like concealed honestly get these brushes and they normally have them on Amazon the entire package it's not expensive but it comes with literally everything it comes with a contour brush it comes with concealer brush it comes with um, I think a foundation brush and it comes with like a powder brush where you can like buff your face and it also comes with a sponge get them I'm telling you get them so for my eyelids I normally go in with neutral colors I'm a neutral girly it's rare that I actually do like colored eyeshadows and if even if I do colored eyeshadows it's never leaving the house it's always inside I don't know I don't know why I'm just not that girly so I went in with some just some neutral shades um, deepen it a little with like an orangey brown shade from the Morphe I think it's 35 D palette don't quote me on that I'll put it down in the description box but yeah I went in with like some nudes um, and then instead of using black eyeliner I actually used brown I don't normally use brown but I saw Tierra Walker using brown eyeliners and I felt like okay she did something there so instead of using the black I decided to use brown and it definitely gave it that soft look that I was going for um that little soft glam where it's not too heavy and not every product is too heavily concentrated I love that also for my foundation i did go in with the fenty beauty i don't remember what it's called but it's the one that's in the glass bottle um and i went in with 345 with fenty beauty's foundation um i love them because they're not it gives you soft glam like it's not so heavily concentrated um it gives light to medium coverage i did not want like a full-on coverage because i would have i am not i would have but i did go in with some concealer and the Too Faced Born This Way concealer is full coverage so I don't want to use like a full coverage foundation and then go back in with that like, full coverage concealers I didn't like that I didn't want my face to feel too heavy so that's why I love using my Fenty Beauty foundation um, but for my concealer I did go in with the same Too Faced Born This Way sculpting concealer went in with natural beige and I used the hourglass concealer to the front part of my eyes like inner corners of my eyes not the front part but the inner corners of my eyes and that shade is in fun I do remember that I do remember that that shade is in fun I don't if I don't think the tart concealer is, is fun but I'll be putting it down I'll be putting it down below but for sure the hourglass concealer is in the shade fun with the hourglass concealer I've seen the rave about it on TikTok I don't really love it that much I still prefer my born this way um, concealers because it gives the coverage that I actually want I feel like with the hourglass I don't know if I'm not applying it properly but it tends to crack and before I was using those that concealer I was just um, sticking to my born this way concealer those concealer gave me the coverage that I need and it didn't have my under eyes looking cracky but for some reason the hourglass concealer actually cracks I don't know why so I have to go in with the barn this way still and I just put the hourglass concealer on top of it just to lighten it a little bit more so the inner corners have that like high highlighted effect um so yeah the hourglass concealer in the inner corners and then my regular barn this way on the outer parts um in the shade natural beige <laughs> Too. 
so for contour nothing changed still using my fenty beauty contour sticks this one is in the shade espresso i use espresso on my face like under my cheeks my chin my forehead but i use the shade truffle on my nose just because my nose is naturally straight it's naturally pointy so i don't use the espresso because the espresso is really dark and i don't want my nose to be like heavily pointed because i naturally have pointy nose um so i go in with the truffle because the truffle gives it a more subtle look and it's not that like i don't want a fake nose i want my nose to just be enhanced because i like i said i already have straight nose um and a very pointy nose <laughs> so i go in with like a lighter shade um contour sticks compared to the espresso the espresso is, is too dark on my nose but yeah that's what i'm doing right now and just blending it up so for setting powder i'm still using laura mercy's setting powder in translucent i don't think i'll ever give up this product but i'm definitely open in, i'm definitely open to trying a new powder sephora has a sale tomorrow so i have the huda beauty powder in my cart i think i'm going to get that just to try it out but i can never go wrong with my laurier laura mercy setting powder in translucent and i'm i don't know this will just always be a must have in my makeup kit i cannot get over the coverage that it gives i cannot get over what it actually does i love it and i'm using the real technique um concealer brush and i'm just using that to just pat it on my face i'm not really like swiping anything i'm literally just patting it down because i don't want anything to move i want everything to sit in place my bronzer or like my powder contour i should say i'm using these la girl um color palette uh, it's a contour palette it's basically like you see how we have like the tube concealers it's just in powder form in this palette and i don't remember the shades i don't think there are shade there any the name of the shades is there i think it's just just the shades alone um but yeah i'm just going in with like a darker shade one a, a shade that actually matches the uh, espresso cream contour that i did and i'm just going in and just setting my contour in place then i'm doing like that cut crease um effect that we've been doing this a long time ago this is not new but i'm just using the same laura mercy setting powder and i'm using my triangular spongy thing and i'm just using that to pretty much just cut my contour to make it more just let it to let it stand out a little bit more and gives me that effect of like a sharp cheekbone which is what we are going for um so my for my blush i'm still using the i don't know if i mentioned this before but i'm using the i was about to say still using but then i thought like maybe i didn't say it before but anyways i'm using the patrick taz um blush in baby doll chef kisses chef kisses and i did something different actually put my blush on did some highlighter set my face and then i went back over with some blush and i'm telling you something happened something happened um i'm also setting my face with the fenty beauties um face powder it's like a foundation powder um so i'm using the same 345 shade within the Fenty Beauty setting powder just to not setting powder the foundation powder just to put on my face and give some color to my face because I did not want like the bottom part of my face to be highlighted as well so I went in with that so it can kind of tone down the bottom part like my cheeks and my um, jawline and all of that then I went in and set my face with the radiant setting spray from NYX. I love this setting spray. I want to try the, I think it's a Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, the airbrush spray. I want to try that. But 
cannot give up my NYX Radiant Setting Spray. I look high and low for this setting spray because for some reason it's always out of stock. Um, but yeah, love it. Under my eyes, after applying my lashes and my, um, my mascara, I went in with the the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit um, in the shade light to medium. And I went in with a pretty light powder shade that's in it and I just went over the under eyes just to brighten it a little bit more. That is something new. Putting the blush over my face that's already set and adding like that powder contour under my eyes. Well not a contour but like uh like a pressed powder under my eyes after everything is set. That's new for me. I will always be doing that because I saw a difference. Um for my lips I went in with the kiss lip inject on lip injector lip liner um don't remember the shade but i will add it down below and then i went in with the mac lip liner in cork blend that out a little bit kind of give that like a uh, little ombre effect then i went in with my anastasia beverly hills um cotton candy lip gloss i was trying to figure out remember the name the cotton candy lip gloss i love that shade cannot get over it i i was a morphe type of lip gloss girly but the moment i tried the anastasia beverly hills um lip gloss can't turn back no i can't turn back also i did go in some concealer i think it's the same oil gloss concealer i had and just to put it in the middle of my lips so again i can get that ombre effect and then went over it with my anastasia beverly hills lip gloss and magic magic loved everything the highlighter that i use is from mac it's mac show girl show gold did not um, mention that my lashes I think it's just some lashes from actually it's lashes from Sheen Sheen sent me these lashes because I had a collab with them they sent me some lashes and some other stuff but yeah these lashes are from them so I don't know the name but yeah but this is pretty much the final look I hope you guys enjoy this one don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever I post and leave all your comments down below tell me what you like and what you don't like see you babes in my next one no, I do not eat steak. All I eat is this place.